Science 4, Quarter 4, Week 7. For the content, significance of studying the sun, overview of the sun's characteristics, photosphere, chromosphere, corona. Sun's movement and day-night cycle. Introduction to shadows. Importance of the sun to living things, role in photosynthesis, heat, and light. Sing the song, Sun Song can be accessed through the link below. What is the song all about? When do we see the sun? What are the things that we can get from the sun? Without the sun, what are the possible things that may happen to us here on Earth? For the lesson purpose, chart organizer and KWL chart. Is the sun important to us and to all things on Earth? What I want to know about the sun and what I've learned about the sun. You will accomplish the first two columns. You will accomplish the third column and submit it to your teacher. I am glad that there are things that you know already about the sun. You can use and enrich this knowledge as we discuss more about the sun. For the next two weeks, we will address everything that you want to learn. Just be sure to participate actively on the different activities that we will be performing for you to know more about our sun. For the unlocking content area vocabulary, finding my better half. I have here cat pictures of the sun. Find the other half of each piece to know the meaning of the terms, which you will be encountering as we go on with our lesson. Here is a sample of a cutout. Sun, it is the main source of energy on Earth. Other words to be defined could be photosphere, the surface of the sun, corona, the outermost layer of the sun, which is made up of hot gases that are lighter than those in the chromosphere. Chromosphere, a thin layer of plasma that lies between the sun's visible surface the photosphere, and the corona, the sun's upper atmosphere. For subtopic 1, significance of studying the sun. Let's have an activity entitled A Punch to Sun. Describe what you see. If the sun is a ball of burning gases, why do scientists still keep on sending astronauts to study the sun closely? Solar head banging. Why study the sun? Your class will be divided into two groups. Each group will brainstorm about the topic, why is it important to study the sun? What are the benefits that we get when we study the sun? You will write your answer on a sheet of Manila paper. After 10 minutes, each group will present answers to the class. Let's have another activity, Directed Reading Thinking Activity or DRTA. Why is it important to study the sun? Materials needed, article from an online source, sheet of Manila paper, Marker Instructions Work in small groups with five members each. Read the article below and make a summary. Science for Everyone Why it is important to study the sun Studying the sun, which is the largest object in the solar system and the nearest star to Earth, can help scientists understand more about other stars in the Milky Way galaxy 
and about stellar objects in other galaxies. A multitude of eruptive phenomena occur in the Sun. While the Sun is the source of energy for all life forms, the release of excessive energy towards Earth results in disturbances in the near-Earth space environment. For instance, these disturbances disrupt communication systems and damage spacecraft. Also, astronauts are sometimes in danger of being exposed to explosive solar phenomena. Therefore, understanding solar dynamics will allow scientists to devise systems that will ensure early warning of eruptive events. Inside the 4.5 billion year old star, nuclear fusion reactions occur. Aditya L1's findings may help scientists understand these reactions better and how they power the sun. The temperature of the central region of the sun, or the core, is about 15 million degrees Celsius, and that of the photosphere is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. Aditya L1 will also study the reasons behind this difference in temperature. Thermal and magnetic phenomena keep occurring inside the sun, and hence, the star serves as the perfect natural laboratory to understand certain occurrences that cannot be explained in the laboratory. Complete the statements below. It is important to study the sun because... You're right, it helps us understand other stars and stellar objects. It allows us to predict solar events that affect Earth, like communication disruptions and spacecraft damage. It helps scientists learn about nuclear fusion and the sun's energy production. The sun causes some effects on the Earth, such as... Very good! disrupting communication systems, damaging spacecraft, and exposing astronauts to harmful radiation. Subtopic 2, Sun's Layers and Characteristics Let's have activity number 2, Jig Sun Puzzle and Solar Navigation. It is good for 60 minutes. Materials needed, laptop, marker, Cut pieces of the jigsaw puzzle, cartolina, or manila paper. Instructions Jigsaw Puzzle Work in a group assigned to you. Arrange the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle given to your group to form a picture. With the use of printed and online resources, your group will identify whether it's the inner or the outer structure of the sun was formed. So here is an illustration. We have the core, the radiative zone, and the convection zone. Next, we have the corona, the chromosphere, and the photosphere. Here is another illustration of the different parts of the sun. We have the sun's core, the radiative zone, the convection zone. We have the photosphere, chromosphere, transition region, and corona. Solar navigation. Watch the video assigned to your group to describe the layers of the sun assigned to your group. Each group will be given pieces of a puzzle to solve. One group will form the outer layers of the sun, and the other will be the inner layers. The groups will label the structure of the sun as shown on picture, which you formed. You may search online to describe each layer of the sun. Here's a YouTube link. Layers of the sun explained inner layers, uploaded by Astronomate. Next video and titles Layers of the Sun Explained Outer Layers Uploaded as well by Astronomate
Using the table below, describe each part of the sun assigned to you. Inner or outer layers of the sun, write their characteristics and descriptions. Draw and label the parts of the sun assigned to your group. As a group, create a model showing the layers of the sun assigned to your group using recyclable materials. Use the rubric below to guide you. Note, this can be considered as a group project. Criteria, creativity, label or information, neatness and durability. What are the layers of the sun? You're right, there are three inner layers of the sun, core, the radiative zone, and the convective zone, and three outer layers or atmospheric layers, photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. Describe each layer of the sun and enumerate the distinct events happening in each layer. For the core, description, the sun's core is the innermost layer where nuclear fusion occurs. This is where hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, releasing an immense amount of energy. Distinctive events, nuclear fusion occurs here producing the sun's energy. The core temperature is about 15 million degrees Celsius. Next is radiative zone. This layer surrounds the core and extends outward in the radiative zone. Energy produced in the core is transferred outward through radiation. Energy is carried outward in the form of photons, light particles. The process is slow. It can take hundreds of thousands of years for energy to move through this zone. The temperature here ranges from 7 million degrees Celsius near the core to about 2 million degrees Celsius at the outer edge. Next is the convection zone. Above the radiative zone, the convective zone is where energy is transported by convection. Hot plasma rises toward the surface, cools, and then sinks back down. Convection currents transport energy from the inner layers to the surface. The temperature here is around 2 million degrees Celsius at the bottom and about 5,500 degrees Celsius near the top. The movement of hot plasma creates granules on the sun's surface. Photosphere The photosphere is the sun's visible surface, where the light we see is emitted. It's not a solid surface but a layer, where the sun's gas becomes transparent enough for light to escape. Sunspots and solar flares are visible in this layer. The temperature is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. Solar radiation is emitted, which is the energy that reaches Earth. For the chromosphere, this is a thin layer just above the photosphere. It's visible during a solar eclipse as a reddish glow. Solar prominences large loops of gas, and solar flares are observed in this layer. The temperature here is about 20,000 degrees Celsius. Corona The corona is the sun's outermost layer extending millions of kilometers into space. It's much hotter than the surface, despite being farther from the core. The solar wind originates from the corona. It's extremely hot, with temperatures around 1 to 3 million degrees Celsius. The corona is visible during a solar eclipse as a halo of light. Remember, core is the hottest layer of the sun. Its temperature increases with depth. Radiation zone is found between the core and the convection zone. Once the energy is produced in the core, it travels outward through this layer. Convection zone is the sun's layer where gases expand and rise, 
As these gases get higher, they lose some of their heat, cool down, and sink back at the center. The photosphere is the reddish disk where the light that we see from the sun comes from. The chromosphere is a reddish, brilliant layer. This part is made up of hot gases that make its a regular shape. The corona or crown is a wide but pale ring surrounding the sun and is the outermost layer of the sun. It is only visible on Earth during a total eclipse. Summarize what you've learned from the different activities you had by completing the sentences and graphic organizers given. It is important to study the sun because it helps us understand other stars, predict solar events, and protect Earth from solar radiation and disturbances. The sun is important to living things because it provides the energy needed for life to exist on Earth. Fill out the graphic organizers below in your layers of the sun, their characteristics, and descriptions. Next, the outer layers of the sun, same as well, their characteristics and descriptions. Do you consider the sun important to your life? Why? Give instances when you need the sun in your life. Yes, the sun is important to my life because it provides light and warmth, helps plants grow, and gives energy for daily activities. For your formative assessment, read and analyze the following questions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. What form or forms of energy does the sun radiate? A. Heat energy B. Light energy C. Light and heat energy D. Light or heat energy In which layer of the sun does the light come from? A. Core B. Photosphere C. Corona D. Convection Zone Number 3. What are the most abundant gases in the sun? A. Hydrogen and Oxygen B. Oxygen and Carbon Dioxide C. Carbon Dioxide and Helium D. Hydrogen and Helium Number 4. What process is involved in the generation of the sun's energy? A. Nuclear fission B. Nuclear fusion C. Nuclear reaction D. None Number 5. What layer of the sun do we see during total solar eclipse? A. Corona B. Prominences C. Sunspot the solar wind. Here are the correct answers for number 1 C, number 2 B, number 3 B, 4 A, and number 5 is letter A. Draw and label the inner and outer layers of the sun. For your homework, collage making. The sun is the major source of energy on Earth. The energy it radiates is harnessed and converted to electricity. Collect pictures from magazines showing the importance of the sun as a source of solar energy. Make a collage of these pictures. Form the collage on one half illustration board. Here, are the rubrics for collage. For the criteria, we have organization, content, and visual presentation.